Hey, listen, man, I ain't gonna lie. I'm gonna get this a try again. And I ain't gonna lie, the link is still up to where I was watching this video yesterday when I cut it off. I cut it off at five minutes and 43 seconds. So I'm gonna just continue from here. I'm not gonna start it over. Um, Y'all was telling me in the comments on the song reaction, I, I need to watch the full video. Woo -doo, blah, blah. Why didn't I react to the full video? She said a lot in the full video. This, that, and the third about the full video. So, uh, yeah, man. Finna watch it. <gasps> oh, I'm saying? Just for y'all. I honestly didn't want to because it was too long of a video, but y'all saying I need to. I'm going to listen to my supporters because that's where it's going to crank the most. And the song reaction is cranking right now, so I don't mind. Let's get into it, man. Creating content is my passion. This is what I found myself at. So when I stop doing something that I love, that's when I realize. What's up, bitch? Like, sorry, no, sorry, no. like I'm not motivated <laughs> no more. When I have I'll to go plan, film, I will plan. schedule it or I make an excuse why I can't go. What's up, bitch? Like it was just not me, you know. So it's not me being lazy, but like damn, I'm dealing with so much such as my relationship kids my mom being a public influencer being a friend all this type of different emotions and i felt like i have worked so much for so long that at some point okay carmen you do deserve to be that type of woman that you just get taken care of like you taking care of the kids you're doing this you're doing that like it's okay oh, like, that nigga dre and this motherfucker jordy oh what's up big jordy back active or whatever what's the up, case big may be, you know what I mean? it's not necessarily that i was just lazy or like i just threw myself away or like i just want to be taken care of like i'm way far yeah, from the person that you have to know take care of, okay now second uh, I did do something mm, that mm, I stepped mm. out of the marriage, which was oh. I did text someone that I wasn't supposed to text, oh. but that didn't go. She said she stepped out the marriage and text somebody. That is stepping out the message. Texting is stepping out the message. Uh, marriage, I ain't gonna lie. But what I do like about this in this video already seven minutes in that we are holding ourselves accountable like grown women should Can, you know what i'm saying gotta clap it up for that a lot of women don't hold themselves accountable you feel me she being honest she being my oc honest man right now but was texting the only thing you did <laughs> I, 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 are, we, are we gonna be honest about everything Four hours, forty-eight hours, seventy-two hours. That didn't go past no, like no more than a day. Okay. No, she said and they ain't go past more than a day. I got caught. Like I have my consequences. Like let's be honest. Like let's really. Yeah, but why text if you're married? But then again, I, I mean, I'm not saying with her situation because there's plenty of reasons why to text other niggas in her situation. <laughs> Plenty of reasons why she should have just full blown cheated on the other nigga for real, for real, if we're being honest. But I'm saying in general, women, if we're married or if we're in a relationship, what is the point of texting other niggas? Not speaking on her relationship, like I said. But I'm saying with women in general, what is the point of that? I don't get it. Talk about what it really is, you know, I feel because I feel like. I do hold a lot of pain inside of me from things that I have dealt with and things that I'm healing that y'all really don't know. Like, it takes a lot of healing process for me to even want to, like, you know what I'm saying? I'm healed. Like, you know, like, and right now, me healing isn't necessarily like, oh, I'm healing from love or I'm healing. No, I'm healing from how I was treated as a woman. You know what I mean? Like, I'm healing mm. from all the scars that That's was real. done to me inside and outside, you know? So, when I got caught texting a guy that I wasn't supposed to text, mm. like, hands was put on me. Like, I have a scar oh. from that. You know what I mean? Like, it's something. She said when she got caught texting another nigga in marriage, hands was put on me. Sheesh, my boy put the pause on her for texting another nigga in a relationship, see? Damn. Something that I would never forget that I did, but also would, I would never forget that it's something that was done to me. You know what I mean? That was my first time ever even stepping out of like the relationship. That it 
Damn, you put the pause on her for the first time of her texting another nigga? Come on, man. My boy thought he was Tank Davis in the ring when his bitch texted another nigga. Bro. Lord have mercy. Mm, 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 mm. Fellas, we gotta not hit women. It's no point. Because first of all, let me keep it a buck, bro. Hitting women in a, um, especially in a relationship, or just hitting women in general, doesn't change a bitch at all. Like, it's not going to change them from doing it or, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's not going to make them not ever do it again. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, for example, when you were a kid and you got a spanking, for cursing. Did you did you grow up to not curse? No, you did not. What did a spanking do? You, you motherfuckers got plenty of spankings because they kept doing... They kept repeating, doing the same shit over and over again. Women ain't going to change their actions by putting their head... Come on, man. <laughs> There's no point of hitting women. That's what I'm saying. Like, that's why I ain't never just hit a woman. Like, it's no point of it. It's no point. It's it's only a lose lose situation. If you have a name, your career is gonna go down the drain. Lose lose. Even if you don't have a name, she's gonna call the police on you. Lose lose. Three, your woman gonna be scared of you. You don't want your woman scared of you ever. That's a lose lose. You don't want your woman scared of you. You want you you want your woman to respect you as a man. She ain't gonna not do shit. With other niggas because she's scared of you. She's not going to not text other niggas. She's not going to not fuck other niggas because she's scared of you. No. She's going to not fuck other niggas. And not want to text other niggas because she respects you. Not because she's scared of you. And that's what men have to realize. When fucking with women and dealing with women. Like. You know what I'm saying? I can see you get pissed off. Man. Ooh. Like you know what I'm saying? You might want to do it. It might get the urge. Whatever. You, you, you're mad and upset. But to actually do it, it's just, it's a lose-lose situation. I don't think no man should ever, like, hit a woman up, up across their head unless she talks shit about your mama or threaten your sister or anybody in your family. I ain't gonna lie. I'm putting, I'm putting hands and feet on the hole. If she say something, like, if she try to fight my mama or put hands on any of my family member that's a woman, now nah, I'm getting all the way gangster and I don't give a fuck what the consequences is. I don't care. You gonna try to do something to the woman who birthed me? Oh, hey, man, you got to see me about that shit, man. I ain't gonna hold you like, ain't no woman on woman on none of that shit. You got to see me. And whoever want to say anything in the comments about that, hey, man, hey, I ain't, man, we ain't going back and forth. I don't care about cancellation, getting canceled. I don't care. You know what I'm saying? Ain't come with consequences if you try and fuck with my mama. Matter of fact, hey man, I man, I want ooh, even if you ah, if I got an old lady, like if I got a if I got a if I got a wife, I'm a turning young boy. You talking about my wife? Oh yeah. I'll probably be on the same shit. Especially if she got my kid. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Anyways, let me get back to the reaction, man. Hold on. Space bar not working. He was even nothing that went <laughs> all the way. Like he was not. It was just couple text messages. It was in flirting messages. Mm -hmm. There was no let's link up messages. It was none nah, of that. And text I never sent text sexual leads to linking up. To no text and leads to linking up. I don't want to hear that. Same that I will post on my story. Like let's be honest, you know. So after that day, you know, the hands was put on on me and drastically like crazy i couldn't even go to the hospital because if i would have went to the hospital it would have been an investigation on how did that happen to Facts. my face and you was gonna have to lie so, and say a dog scratched you up after or some, that moment shit like that. i instantly like instantly got traumatized mind you i had really been dealing with the cheating with the lying with the betraying all this all that cool you know it's cool what about a daughter yeah i'm gonna go up across your head too if you try to fuck with my daughter if i have a daughter yeah Ooh, like don't have like physical, other physical fights before yep. all yep, these yep, all yep, day yep. we didn't have about the fam. 
okay cool i get all that you know but after this moment i really i, I instantly felt I was like this is not love this is not love because there's no way that after so many times I sit here and say okay with tears in my eyes and say I forgive you. The one moment that Carmen do something wrong instead of you trying to understand why I did it. What pushed me to do that or what was you thinking? Like there was no question asked. There was no type of trying to understand why Carmen did something like that that I have never done before. You know, so it, it, it really was like you in danger. Like you in danger like it's, you can i can't promise that nothing else will happen because i don't i see a comment that says no shit carmen yeah no shit but also too like you know when you're in relationships and you're in love appreciate the subscribe uh hey when you're in love and you're in a relationship you don't like i ain't gonna lie that vision is blurry like you go for certain shit that you normally don't go for you do certain shit that's out of your you know what I'm saying? Out of your range, all because of the love. You know what I'm saying? Um, you don't even realize shit sometimes until you grow out of the relationship. Like, your vision, like, Carmen's vision probably didn't get all the way clear until maybe now. And that's why she had to take a break from the internet, take a break from uh, fucking with the baby daddy, take a break, just taking a break period from a whole bunch of shit. So the vision can get clear. Like, you know what I'm saying? She's been going through shit for like six years, whatever, how many years? I don't know the actual number, but for a long time. So in a relationship, if it's fighting going on, she might not see clearly that, oh, this is not love. This is not love. No, they got kicked. They, 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 not just years in, but they kids in. So she ain't going, you can't say no shit to her saying, oh, duh, no shit can't say that motherfuckers is kids in and years in and she is that vision ain't gonna that that vision ain't gonna be clear no you know what i mean but i knew i was in danger the moment that i was like damn like if you wouldn't stop my i wouldn't have a pretty face no more like if you wouldn't stop you would have destroyed my face my eye like do we really want like do i really you know like when don't get me wrong, like, it's so much that I really want to just let it out and really talk about. But at the same time, what I keep in the back of my mind is the fact that my kids have to grow up and see this and hear all of this. So this is a way of me still, like, protecting even just my peace for my own sake. Because when I go to speaking to certain stuff, I letting people in into my life. So now I'm giving you more reasons to attack me, to say things about me, and this and the third. But... Like, this is the end, you know what I mean? Like, I had enough of just being cool. Like, she's on bother. Like, she's not going to be this. She's going to be that. It's so much more that I can go from 2016, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. But now, let's just take it to exactly how we even got here now, you know? So, after that moment, it was still like, damn, you know, okay. Like, I know I was wrong for what I did. Don't get me wrong. And that moment, I realized, like, damn, guys can take what is done to them you know like guys can't say when girls do exactly what they do Hell no, so i, can't I knew like shit. okay this is Just a different type honest. of person like this Hell is a person no. that i can't even recognize right now because you were different you know okay we let two three months pass by after that mind you mind you mind you the same night of everything that was done or stuff i stayed at home you went out you went and cheated the same night just because you want to get your get back because I... Man, if you don't get out my comments telling me what to turn on and off, man, this shit cranking them on the tube, nigga. I'm cranking them. Go look at my last reaction, nigga. I'm cranking them. So guess what I'm going to do? Crank them some more, nigga. How about that, nigga? I cheated on you, whatever, whatever. You know, it's still, it's still, still going, mind you, after I'm in the bed, in the room, just crying my ass out, black eye, all of that. Two, three months after that, you know, um, I was just not myself. I couldn't even focus. We went back to our manager to say we're going to go back work. Mind you, I went back to the manager to work for me. I wanted to get back on my stuff, like, call Carmen be on shit. But no, this person couldn't let that happen. So that person said, no, you know what? Let's get back to this. Let's see, like, how can we come back to YouTube? Like, what can we do? That 
So he introduced himself into it. So now we back together as a couple working back with the manager, right? So now in this time, we having a schedule what time we shooting from what time to that. If we have a, a time to shoot, I like to shoot. If I don't feel like your energy is matching my energy, I'm not going to shoot with you. And that's just how we did it. And we always been like this. Okay, like, uh, if one of our yeah, energy is not agree, matching, we're going to be Because we're not going to fake it. So one time, right? That's why when you're in a relationship a couple, like I was in a relationship a couple one time and doing YouTube and shit. If that energy was not it, it just was not it. Like, if we was going through shit, we couldn't film. We couldn't do none of that shit. It's hard to just... Y'all know I'm 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 big on not faking shit for the two, man. I wasn't trying to fake that shit. Kiana, yes, Kiana. So I've only been in one relationship. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. If we were going through it, ain't no filming, no none of that shit. We just finna be mad as fuck at each other, or we'll get back to it when we happy. You know what I'm saying? Or the content won't be good. So I get exactly what she's talking about. I can relate. Mind you, we ha we're arguing. We're going back and forth. It's not, it's, we're not in the right space at all. This one morning that we had to film, mind you, the day before that we had to film, we didn't film because the attitudes, problems. <laughs> the next day, I text my manager. I person text my manager. I say, hey, today we're not going to film. Like, the vibe is not the same vibe. There's no point for y'all keep coming here. Y'all wasting time. Like, y'all come here. Camera people come. We're not shooting nothing. Y'all have to leave. And it's like a day was wasted, you know? So, when he comes back, because he went for a walk. When he comes back that morning, he tells me, why will you cancel Nigga work? Nigga, to go text I said, them no, you're not the same. <laughs> you're not even doing what you're supposed to be doing. Your energy is not the energy, like... We're not gonna fake it just because we need it or like that's not the case. And one thing about me, like I never fake anything has if like, oh my energy is just not this body, let's fuck it, let's still do a video. No, everything that we did was part of the videos, content, all this or that. Okay, cool. So now we're going back and forth because I cancel work day because the energy is not giving and I hate when I have to force a person to act. Like, a lot of videos that I've done, the energy wasn't there. You know what I mean? Like, I made the videos. I did the videos. When I did acting like a pinky pinky doll in that video, Shanene from Marley, I, I do all the I do majority of the part, and that's me acting up. Like, me getting you to laugh, to react. Like, don't you, don't you ever in your, try to even paint me. That's like I'm like I'm lazy or like you just did everything. Cause even every money that was spent on each other, or whatever, we both made that. We both were making money, and let's just not touch that. But anyway, so <laughs> after all the videos, right now we like concentrate another video. Boat. That's an old C comment. I did argument back and forth. The, the camera people see like, bro, I gotta tell you like. You not doing what you're supposed to be doing, you know what I mean? I'm getting irritated, so it's like, fuck it, we just do whatever video, and it's not, it's not, that's not how I work. So, now we're going back and forth about it, and I'm trying to express my feelings that I'm not going to work with you when your energy is this, and you can't tell me your energy is not that when I've been living with you for years. I know when you start acting different, just like you know when I act different, I know when your energy is not the same. This day, y'all, it was 9, 10 in the morning. Like, I swear, no smoking, no drinking, no nothing was involved early in the morning. He got up, we got up, we mad, you know, we arguing, we fuss. And so I go into the bathroom, he goes into the closet. He goes and tells me, I finna go to Miami, you deal what you gotta deal with. Cause that, you know I hate when you tell me you about to go to another state when we arguing. Cause why you finna go to another state? And when you go to Miami, does nothing good come out of Miami, bro? Like, don't play, like, you know what you was doing. Oh, man. Let my bitch tell me she going to Miami while we going through it in a relationship. I'm going to have 50 million holes in the motherfucking crib and they all going to be your fucking friends. Say no, nah, say no, nah, I'm just playing, I'm just playing. Don't nothing good come out of Miami. Even when you go as a friend group, as women, y'all people, when women go to Miami as friend groups, they all come back, <laughs> not friends. When niggas go to Miami in a relationship, doesn't end well. Unless you prime time Hitler, the faithful man. You know what I'm saying? Just doesn't end well. Oh, cool. Mind you, I said, all right, I said, yeah, go ahead and do that. You keep showing me your true colors. 
This was literally the last words that came out of my mouth. I said, you are showing me your true colors. My closet was right here. His closet was right here. If y'all remember the old videos and y'all seen our old house, that bathroom, you will know exactly what I'm talking about. The, his closet here, my room, my closet here, right? We are across from each other. This man felt like I attacked him by saying, go ahead, show me your true colors then. That man put his shorts up came and instantly grabbed me by my neck and put me against the wall. Mm. And it has you, if you ever been like that, you know you can't breathe, you can't talk. So I'm trying to just move move away around to get this person out of me. Okay, so my, the time I'm, I'm trying to move myself out, move my head. Why she keep saying this person? Like, she talking about core, right? Like, what, what she mean this person? She said, my, 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 my man grabbed her by the neck and threw her on the wall. She, like, she, she talking about this person. Every time she say this person, I'm thinking about Kane or Undertaker. That's what they do. Grab them by the neck and put them against the... Yeah, like, that was some Undertaker shit. You know what I'm saying? Once she said that, I'm, I, I heard this in my head. The Undertaker said, I heard that. That's what the Undertaker do. Grab them by the neck and... You know what I'm saying? What and she's saying this person that's what this person did to me. Who is this person? That's OZ. Something. His hands are still on me, y'all. Like his hands are still on me. This man's stronger than I am. So be for real. So this hand's still on me. So now by this time I'm on the floor. He's picking me up. This man don't put Undertaker me to sleep shit. or whatever was I got out I'm on the floor. Now when I come Undertaker back to my face, I open my eyes, I even hear gun clicking. I'm here gun clicking, you changing whatever it is that you changing. I hear a gun, a weapon. I'm on the floor. By this time, I'm in my bed, in the bed. I'm on the floor in the room. Did she say she hears a gun clicking? Fool, so, fool. hold on, hold on, hold on. Not only did he put her in the tombstone pile driver against the motherfucking wall, but he also pulled out the weapon from up under the ring. Click the motherfucking fire up, fool. What he wanted to do, rob her too? What type of finisher move is that? <laughs> fool, what type of finisher move is the fool? My man went from Undertaker to John Wick. 007. Alright, bruh. That's you feel me? I'm here, you coming out the bathroom with a they gun. Had a hell cell, I'm not man. thinking at that moment, you loading the gun, are you not loading the gun? Where are you? I'm not thinking of any of that. But it's the principle that you coming Ooh. close to me with a gun. So now that I saw you had the gun they in your hand, I got man. up. And the moment that I'm trying to get up, you pull me against the wall one more Again. time. You put the gun in my forehead, you put the gun inside of my mouth, and you put the gun like. Uh, all right, all right, bro. All right, bro. Bro, Shawty real life said she he put the junk in her mouth. Alright, bro. Yeah, fool. My man was trying to knock her off. <laughs> My man. What did she possibly do to get this nigga that mad? My man tried to off the junk. They was doing an I quit match. <laughs> hey. They was doing an I quit match, bro. Shawty was trying to make her quit in life. Oh my goodness. What did she do? I need to hear both sides of the story, dog. It's an OC thumbnail. 1657 with the hair like that. Dog, I'm about to, that's an OC thumbnail. Bro, what did the nigga do? I mean, what did she do to make, like, you know what I'm saying? That's OZ. Nah, fool. I don't condone abuse. All women abuse, but damn, that shit OZ. It ain't, it ain't, it ain't nothing a bitch can, it ain't nothing a bitch can do to me that'll make me put a, pull the file on her. That's OZ. Yeah, call another bitch to get another bitch to do something to a bitch. Oh, yeah, I, I love doing that. I do that all day. I ain't gonna hold you. I, that's my... I send the blitz. I send the blitz on a nigga just like I send a nigga a blitz, a blitz on a bitch. Call, whoa, whoa, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
I, I love doing that. But like for you to physically do that shit, bro, it's OZ. It, this is OZ. So it, I guess it jammed. Oh, it, did it jam, chat? Did it jam? Cause inside of my head, you kept telling me to shut up. You say, shut up, Carmen. Shut up, I'm going to shoot you. Shut up, Carmen. I'm going to shoot these guys. Like, shut up, shut up. So what the fuck am I supposed to do? Am I not supposed to be scared of you? So at this time, it's only me and you in this fucking room. Your, your brother, your uncle, they in the house. Your uncle standing in the room outside. Your other brother standing upstairs. I come outside and say, hey, I'm calling names. I'm calling names. I'm calling names. I go outside and call your uncle because that's the only person who could have come and control you, right? Okay, I go outside. By the time I come outside, you sitting in a shower like you just finna kill yourself. Yeah, my man. Oh, my God. My man thought he was on a Grand Theft Auto mission. First put the John in her mouth saying, shut up, shut up. Then later, minutes later, you in the shower like you about to offer yourself. All right, fool. Nah, this OZ, fool. This OZ, fool. Don't, hey, this is why you don't get in relationships because motherfuckers tell the stories or after the relationships and everybody just sounds crazy to the public afterwards. This some Tubi movie shit. That's why I don't even watch Tubi because I don't condone this type of behavior. You know what I'm saying? Like, 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 me and my bitch ain't finna sit up in the bed and watch too because you see some shit like this on Tubi. So the moment you think it's okay, you gonna try to do this Tubi shit. That's why we don't just sit up and lay up and watch no motherfucking Tubi movies. This is what Tubi movies like. Tubi is finna watch this. Like the makers of the Tubi shit is finna watch this and create a movie out of it and get some YouTubers to play Carmen and Corey on some shit. They probably will. Like this is like Tubi movie shit. I'm not gonna hold you. I'm not even trying to be funny. Bro, this that this this is crazy. Like, com if Carmen writes a book, that's what I'm saying. She need to just go into book writing. Be a librarian. Cause she will crank them. This this, this type of shit to be on a book. And this type of shit that like 30 years later, motherfuckers will read this in the book and won't even believe it. Cause it's too OC. But damn right. You better you bet you best believe it. I, I believe this should happen. This what happened when you date a nigga that think he owes me in the street, but only do it with you. <laughs> I'm not laughing. I'm not. All right, that's another thing too. Like y'all will get on my ass for laughing in the last reaction, but nah, this ain't funny, bro. I want laughing. I'm not laughing at the situation, but yeah, what do you? This is the type of shit you're gonna get. Like, you know what I'm saying? I could talk about it all day, but I, I'm not finna do it. But it's like, damn, bro. This shit crazy. Like, you just don't know what to do. It's an OC too. But this whole time, you age. putting the gun on me. My forehead, my mouth, the side of my head. Like, let's not play. And this is something I would never in my life even lie about. There's no reason for me to lie about this. You know what I mean? So, okay, cool. So, after this day, like, his uncle talked to him in the bathroom first. He talked to his uncle all day. His uncle come out. He seen bruises on my neck and asked me, what happened to you, girl? I said, oh, he didn't tell you? He put his hands on me without me even touching him. <laughs> Mind you, all the times that we probably got into a physical fight, probably like grab him, pooch him, slap him, something like that, you know? But this time, oh, my kid. Now, one time did I lay my fingers on this man. Now, one time did I punch him, grab him, hold nothing. Nothing. It was 9, 10, <laughs> early in the morning. You know what you Appreciate was doing, and what you was doing was you, oh, let me scare her. So that's what the fuck you did. You scared me. So after that day, I never saw you the same. I couldn't even have sex with you the same. So boom. Now, this time, my Tay, my best friend Tay, was still here. Me and her take a trip to, uh, to Atlanta. We were supposed to only be gone, y'all, for like three, four, five days. I swear. She's going through with her boyfriend. She's pregnant. I'm going through with my relationship. So. Two girls going on a trip together has got something going on in their relationships is not to be trusted. So I can't wait to hear the story of what happens from this. I can't wait. I was like, you know, let's just let's just go out for a vacation or a getaway, something. So yes, I ended up leaving the house really first after we had got into this. it or whatever. Then I ended up going to Atlanta without telling him my kids were here. They was in Alabama. So like Home of the tricks. I can leave if I want to, you know what I mean? So I left, in the midst of me living there, he found out that I was in Alabama somehow, I mean in Atlanta, somehow, some way. Now he got to text my phone, threatening me, he sent me the address, he said, oh, you, 
But you at this edge of a move. Alright, bet. So now I'm paranoid, y'all. I'm telling Tay, I'm like, Tay, you ain't got the address. Oh my God, we needed to go. We need to find another Airbnb. Tay, like, turn your location around, turn your location around. Hello. Do you want this food? Yeah. You gonna make it for me? What do you mean, make it for you? I'm saying. Babe, it's already made. Like, women love cooking for a nigga this late, man. It's 3 in the morning. Talking about you gonna eat this food? Yeah, baby. I'm like, if you say you love me, you say you said you, you that, that, like, why would you want to put your loved one in a situation of where they scared of you? Where they fear of you? Where they because, only doing things now because... Like I said earlier, niggas think when a girl is scared of them, they won't do anything. It ain't about... That's why I say it's respect is way better than fear. It's way better. This is how your girl respects you. She gonna respect you out the way you move. Move as a player, like you know what I'm saying? Like, <clears throat> like the way you treat her and stuff like that, and how you move as a man, it uh, should make her feel like she not gonna wanna ever text another nigga or wanna lose her situation. Duh. They scared of you. That's not love. That's not love at all. You know what I mean? So now I'm spent I'm in Atlanta like 13, 14 days, y'all. Me and my friend. 14 days we stay in Atlanta. We come back home. When I come back home, I came back home completely checked out. Completely knowing that you are not the same and I can't see you the same. And I lost myself here. I can't be here no more. Like it got to the point where I prefer for my kids to be with my mom. Because I couldn't be a mom to my kids. Because I'm dealing with you. All your bullshit. You feel me? Like, people always want to say, oh, y'all barely keep your kids. Y'all barely. No, it wasn't there, y'all. Like, it got to the point where I fucking lost myself. I couldn't be a fucking mom. See, it's asking me for sick. They cry. I'm getting pissed off. And when I catch myself screaming at them too loud, or like I'm about to put my hands at them, I hold myself back. Because I'm like, okay. You got too much going on. Don't take it out on the kids. You feel me? So even if I ever scream and see it like I, I even felt bad, I turn around and I look at my baby and I say, I'm sorry. And I will ask God to forgive me because I knew that I'm not in the right space for that, you know? So when it came to me not working and just being lazy and my kids did my kids that, <laughs> what the fuck am I supposed to do? Y'all can't even operate as a woman for myself. And I'm the little bit of what I can operate I'm trying to make sure this person good. I'm trying to make sure my marriage good. I'm trying to make sure we still good. Like, even though all these people is doing this to you, you're going through all this shit, you're going through these, you're going through that. Hey, you know Carmen here, right? Carmen got you. Carmen got you. You feel me? No matter where. I had you, bro. No matter where I did it all fucking time. So now, boom. So now it comes down to the moment I'm walking out the house. I walked out of the house because you're constantly telling me, Oh, you need to find somewhere to go. Because I got company coming. You need to find somewhere to go. This was October 11th. CJ's birthday. There was nothing safe about no CJ fucking birthday. But you kicking me out of the house. I had Katie right here on my hill. And see you running around. And me and him arguing. And he said, you need to find somewhere to go. I looked at you dead in your eyes. And I said, what you want me to do with this kids? I had nowhere to go. He looked me back and said, that's for you to figure it out. I said, you know what? That's all I needed to hear. I got you. I got you. I'm going to figure this shit out. Watch. My mom was still in the house. So that same night, he went out. So I told my mom, I said, Mom, 
we gotta pack my shit. Like I like this is just I just can't do it. Mind you, still to this day, this probably how my mom gonna find out what happened. Cause to that moment, I still wasn't telling my mom what was going on between me and him. I wasn't telling my mom about this or about that. So now when it came down to me, her packing our stuff. All my bags was left in the garage, inside of the heart. My kids stuff, all everything inside of the garage. I only took two suitcases with my clothes and my kids clothes, just temporarily to fill out okay i need to get a, a place i need to get a place i left it was two three in the morning i go to cat house i go to cat house i took my mom my kids we in cat house the next day i woke up to a message from six in the morning if, if i can put it up y'all gonna see on the screen at six in the morning he texted my phone with a picture with all my bags outside of the garage and said come pick your stuff up thank you all my shit outside of the house. Like, your keys stuff out of the house. Your keys didn't do nothing to you. If you really care about your keys from the first place, you would have protected your keys. You would have know. You would have make sure your keys were good Kids anywhere that are went with me. Even though you know I'm not going to put my keys in and no risk or nothing. But you as a father... You were supposed to do your part as well. Now, one time you care about it, did your kids was gonna eat? Did Katie have diapers, wipes, clothes? Do they need where they? You didn't care about none of that. You you like at all? The moment you put my stuff and your kids stuff at the house, that's the moment that you didn't you stop being a father. That's the moment you start being a father to your kids. So now all this time. I start. That's when I started the new channel. Oh, yeah, I'm getting I get back that. to all of these. I'm showing you this. I'm showing you that. Okay, okay. okay. I'm, I remember the timeline. I went back. <clears throat> and unfortunately, it wasn't part of my plans. It wasn't part of. And unfortunately, my ex, my man, meet you out on that jump. Shut the fuck out, fool. Unfortunately, it wasn't part of my plans. It wasn't part of. This is what Carmen wants to do. It wasn't that. It wasn't that. It, 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 it was not on my books. You know, and the only reason why I even got back in contact with this man was because it was in my heart to let you know I'm not keeping the kids away from you at that time. But at the time when he wanted to see the kids, the kids was not with me. So now that y'all saw me, I'm getting my new place. So at this time of me getting my new place, I'm realizing like, I can't be by myself. I can't take care of myself. I can take care of my kids myself. But not even just that, it's the fact that even while being in a relationship, I was taking care of my kids myself already. You know, like I'm already, I'm buying, the, I'm keeping the clothes clean, shoes clean, diapers, already taking care of CJ, making sure this, making sure that. Don't get me wrong, I have slack on some things to do as a mother. I have, I mean, who doesn't? And I had CJ at 19, 20 years old. So I have like a slack on a lot. I'm not gonna sit here and act like I just been the perfect, mother ever but i have been a great mom ever you know what i mean so in this time that i'm you know i'm my own place i'm figuring that time is so make your next move because how you gonna make a next move like like you know you needed me it's so i'm starting to feel like i need to skip y'all point but but this you decided to let me prove a point let me play the victim here and let me tell the whole world Carmen's story. That's what really hurt me the most. That's what really broke me because it was like, out of everybody, you, you really know deeply and detail by detail my story. My story was never keeping from you. I never kept nothing away from you. There's no way we met in seven years in our relationship and you didn't know where I was from. There's no way we met a seven years mm. in our relationship and you felt like I was using you. Mm. How? You didn't start a YouTube channel by yourself that you was Corey. We started this shit together. It was Carmen and Corey. And mm. let's be technical for real here. People fell in love with me. For real, for real. People Jeez. was watching this shit for me. She finally said that I shit. I made you act crazy. You do pranks. Now you act. You making me act crazy. People wanted to see me act crazy. People want to hear me talk Spanish. People want to see what a Latino crazy mm. ass wife I was. They want to see how funny I am. You funny too, don't get me wrong. You a character. You too, you play your part too. But don't discredit me because I never discredited you when we both did this shit together. You didn't create my Instagram. I had my Instagram for you. I met you. My Instagram's already had a lot of followers before I even met you. I have mm. more followers than you already on Instagram. 
but never cared for because I never even talked to him. I never bragging like you always do. Oh, I've been famous on Facebook. Nobody give a fuck about no Facebook. You wasn't getting famous on Facebook. <laughs> oh, shit. And you too. You just started YouTube and just called Corey preaching. It was Carmen and Corey. Mm. Hey, Carmen A was, was first for a reason, huh? It could have been Corey and Carmen, but it was Carmen and Corey. And not even that, guys. It's just the fact that, like, it's so much that. She popping it. I'm not getting credit for, you know what I mean? Like, I give all the credit when credit's due, no matter who is who. But don't try to paint a picture to me like I'm just this, I'm just that. And I'm gonna give you, I'm gonna give you this. I am dumb. I am stupid for being back into that space that I should have never went back. But I don't regret it. Only reason I don't regret it is because now I'm able to move forward the right way. Like I'm not moving forward or I'm not doing anything with the question in back, back in my mind. Like what if? But what? What if this would have worked? How how is he gonna feel? What if like I don't have any more of that questions? Like now it's just we won't go straight forward for what you want, how you want this to be. So me going back there, guys, it was a, a weak moment. It was more of like, let me try. Try one more time. Let me try one more time. I'm the type of person that I'm a fucking tried and 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 tried until I can't try no more. I am, guys. I'm fucking sorry, but I am. But I learned my lesson, so I promise you, I'm not going to be in the same position again. But in the meantime, I went back to try one more time for my kids. Because I wanted my family to be fucking together for my kids. When my and women tend to do that all the time. They're going to try until they got nothing. And I mean absolutely nothing left. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like. You all, you always gotta have in the back of that your mind like she's gonna go back, she's gonna go back, she's gonna go back. She got kids with an S at the end with a nigga. She wanna go back. You know what I'm saying? That's common sense. Can't just fuck with a woman like her and then think she's not gonna go back to the baby daddy when they got kids together with an S at the end. My kids, I, when I see my kids happy, everything else don't matter. Like. I disconnected from everybody, from my team, from my family, from my friends, from social media, everybody. It wasn't that I'm keeping it a secret. It was just, uh, let me figure this out. Let me deal with my Told life she was privately. Back. Told you. But guess what? Throughout this whole time, y'all already knew it because a motherfucker couldn't keep that shit on the low. A motherfucker trying to prove a point, and I guess the point was, hey, yeah, y'all see, I can get her back. You got it. You got it. Because I did went back, but not because you wanted me to. I went back for my own reasons. And guess what? Now I'm able to let you go for my own reasons too. Not because of what you have done or what you have said. Because that, God going to get you. You know what I'm saying? Like, what you did was fucked up. There's no other way I can put it there. What you did was completely fucked up. I will never forget it. And I do understand where people was coming from when they saw me back in that space. Like, why would you do that when this man told the whole wild world? That you are this, that you are that, your story, your this, your that. I'm sorry, y'all, but I had to be back in those shoes. And guess what? I'm going to be honest with you. I haven't said this a lot, and I'm going to say it now. Being back in those shoes only made me stronger. Mm. I came back at that situation stronger. Way oh, more stronger than I did the back. first time. Because now I was able to rewind. I was able to sleep with a person who destroyed me the most. I was able to be around and look at a person again after you hurt me, you destroyed me, you broke me into pieces and everything. That made me stronger. And now I'm able to, I can sit here and answer any questions. I can sit here and talk about any situation that you didn't talk about. I can sit here and break down everything because mm -hmm. even when things are being told to y'all in a different way, it's never be told to y'all how it needs to be. Of course, you can see it stronger now. And by this moment when you went back, you had other options. You had Midge. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, so of course, like, you're gonna see, see that this is the, this is the, 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 the best thing about breaking up and then maybe going back and then finally ending after you go back. You see what else is out there. Like, you see the type of shit you could get. You know what I'm saying? That's what she did. So of course, yeah, I feel stronger. Yeah, 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 strong. Yeah. You 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 you'd have seen what you could really do and how you could 
you, you just you, you your vision got clear. That that's 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 what I was talking about in the beginning of the video. With the vision, like it gets clearer. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. You was you was exploring, and uh, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, your vision get clear when you're exploring her. Not, nah, nah, I'm playing, I'm playing. Definitely not that, but I'm saying like, yeah, of course, when you went back, you felt strong and like, man, fuck this nigga, man. I can go and pop my shit with whoever the fuck. It just be like that, man. Say, like, there's no when, Explore, when man. the story's been explained. They playing like they the victim, and I was just an asshole. Like I'm the problem. I'm this. I'm that, and this and that. But let me be honest with y'all, like, I did do a lot of stupid shit. I did keep quiet for a lot of reasons. And to this day, like, we can talk about a lot of stuff. Like, you, like, I don't have nothing to do with you what I got going on. And the longest doesn't involve your kids, don't speak on my name. Don't talk about nothing that I got going on. Just because people are in these don't like Carmen train and everybody hopping on it, that doesn't mean you get to hop on it. Because you, out of everybody that's hopping on this hate train, knows that girl they're powerful but guess what i'm being more powerful by keeping my silence because i still have a story to tell and i'm not gonna i'm not gonna tell my story just because i feel like it's, it's already told and fuck it is or let me just go ahead and no i have a story to tell and i want to tell y'all the way i want to tell y'all so y'all can understand and feel me right now the thing that got me is i went back I don't regret it. I learned my lesson. Now I'm stronger than ever. I'm able to move on forward. I'm able to block it. I'm able to ignore it. It's finna be a year. These men haven't stopped talking about me yet. It's finna be a year. I haven't got bullied. I haven't stopped getting bullied, harassed yet. So what am I supposed to do? Harassed. Sit here and address everything Bro, every time? No, guys, no. And I'm some real shit, y'all. I am drained. I am overwhelmed. I went through that stage of leaving my family. Bro. Getting myself together by myself. Taking care of my kids. I had a single mom. I went back to that space. That space is not for me no more. Uh, Instead of you showing me you really love me, you really want me, you really fighting for me and my heart and my soul, you took me back to your sister house where you had your assistant living there. An assistant that was with you since we broke up. Since we broke up. This is the girl you brought to the house. The next day you put my shit at the house and send me a message, come get my shit. You want me to come get my shit because you was gonna bring her into the house. Be fucking for real, but we're not speaking about none of this, right? You just wanna sit here and say, I got play, I got louder. You didn't get loud on nothing. When you signed that I do papers, you knew it. And from my understanding, you necessarily never did it to help me. You said because you fell in love for me, you wanted to help me. That actually was never, your main reason was never because, oh, her mom got me. Please don't speak on my mind. Don't you ever in your fucking life speak about my mother again on camera or off camera. You don't have no fucking right to mention my mama name. You don't have no fucking right to speak about no fucking body on my fucking family. Yeah, you hear me? Off, because nobody off. in my family ever did. Let me hit you with a bit. Go off, go off. Do, do, do. That's what my mom, yeah. Check to you, but she fucking loved off. you and cared you and did anything good for you. And to this day, my mom don't fucking hate you the way she should. Because guess what? I protected you all these fucking years. I protected you from telling my mom everything you've done to me, everything we've been through. Every time my mom asked me about something, guess what I would say? That's for a video, mom. That's a storyline, mom. No, the fuck was not. I wish mm. it was. That shit was not. So to this go day, on, please don't you on. ever say my mom forced you to do anything. Because my mother never forced you to do shit. The no, nobody put a gun in your head and said marry this girl so you can help her with this. Nobody did that. That was never an agreement. That's not no sign on paper, no video, no nothing. You did it because your stupid ass said you was in love and you mm. wanted to help me if you could. Cause guess what? Even when I got married with you, that was not no a green light that I was gonna be able to get anything. So don't. So moving forward, don't you speak about my mother ever again. Cause you don't have no reason to speak on your on my mother at all. My mom never been two faced or anything at all. And that's why it hurt me so much. Cause guess what? After all this shit, my mom is not a good terms with me. My mom, I don't know when was the last fucking time me and my mom be in this position. And being in this position where my mother hurts me so much. Because I know like 
down. You know, like, all because of you. Because of you. Because of you protecting you. You, you know, and they protecting you. You do all this shit publicly. Drive my family in it. Then I go back into that. I understand my mother. I do. I really do. But like I explained to her and she understood. Okay, I get it. I get it. And what I told my mom is this. Mom, I went back because I was scared. I was scared that they, if things don't go his way, I don't know what can happen to me. There's no reason why we at your sister her physical fighting because you want my phone. You want these. You want these. You wanted to see who texted me. You wanted to see where rapper slide in my DMs. Where Jeez. rapper has... <laughs> All because you're trying to prove a point to the world that don't give a fuck about you. That don't give a fuck about you, not one or two. At all. At all. So you put me in the same house as the sister for one that you be fucking with for harder, seven, so eight OZ. months. Same girl that came to sit up in my bed. In my bed OZ. in the house. The next day after, my manager husband went and picked <laughs> up my shit from wow. my house. But you hate my team so much, right? Yeah, that's why you hate my team so much. Cause they opened the doors to me. They helped me. You hate them so much because they the one they see the vision. They the one they want me to win. They the one they want me to see. Like Carmen, you can be so much bigger with this. Without them, or with them. So don't like it. it, it it's, it's not about you coming for the people that help me. You're more mad because you see that they know the real you, and that's what piss you off the most. Yes, I feel bad that I lied to my team, I lied to my mom, I lied to my friends, I lied to the real ones I had on my team. Just to be back in that space with you. Being in that space with you made me realize like, damn, I smoke more, don't want to eat. My yeah, but don't you think too, like to yourself, like if you got to lie and do all this with your friends and people who actually care about you just to be with someone, don't you got to think to yourself, like, damn, do this nigga really care about me? Because why I can't just say, oh, yeah, I'm finna go be with bro? Nah, you got to lie and tell the people you finna do something else, this, that, and the third. Like, you got to start, like, weighing the variables. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, got to start, like, using your brain. Like, shit. My mind going crazy because my trust issues fucked up. I don't trust you. I can't even trust you to get up and walk out the door without me thinking who you finna go call, who you finna go text. I gotta get up and go behind you that door. Like, no, no, it's not. That's that's not okay. And that's what don't that's what we don't talk about. We was in a house, I was taking care of all your grown ass men that you brought in the house. I was putting food in everybody's mouth, but you're not gonna talk about it, right? You're gonna say that I was lazy. But how I was lazy though. And I would still be able to put food in the, in, in, in the house. I was paying the light bill at some point because you couldn't keep up with the light bill, remember? I was helping with that. Anything else, I helped you with any way that I possibly could. So going back into that space only made me realize like, damn, you still the same. Don't get me wrong, I'm going to give you a credit because I said I always give you a credit. You have changed in some way. But as a man to a woman, you will never change because you haven't changed. You constantly worry about these, worry about that, worry about these, worry about that. But you get on social media and you want to seem like you worry about your kids, like you worry about these. When's the last time you talked to your kids? Matter of fact, what's, what's Kaden pull up size? Run that back to me real quick. When? I Don't say I'm keeping you away from your kids because I'm not. Me having you block has your kids, your kids financially at all now. Being that you on social media like I'm keeping you away from your kids. Don't be saying not answering that time that she's telling your kids. I'm doing it. My mom's situation, the breakup, publicly embarrassed me. The whole wild world and I think they know me. My best friend passed away. J I, I skipped because, like, I, she was talking about the kids and shit. I don't want to get into that. Anywhere. She was pregnant. The baby only had six fucking weeks left. I had to see my friend in a casket, dead and gone. Can't talk to my fucking friend no more. This is the friend that helped me freaking get my appetites back together. She helping me get food every day now she's gone i had another person that was real as real as it can be genuine everything in my life i pushed that away because i was rejected like i didn't i wasn't able she's to talk about Michi. where they wanted from me i wasn't able to be that person for them at that time because i wasn't ready for that like I, my mental space has not been what it needs to be until now 
So that's why I don't regret going back. Everybody who said I was dumb, I was this, I was that, it's okay. I just shoot all this shit up and swallow it. Cause guess what? It's so many millions of women out here to go through the same f And that's why it's like, it's like, damn, like when you fucking with a person, that uh, fresh off relationship, you just gotta have in the back of your mind, like, you know what I'm saying? This person might not really be ready for what I got to give her. Or this person might not be ready to just full on uh, be all about me. This person might go back to their man or whatever the case would be. But you know what I'm saying? Niggas like us, though, we always had it at the back of our head. That's why we don't, we're not gonna ever, like, lose out on nothing or lose out on the situation or be fucked up about some shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I speak for bro behalf. Like, bro wasn't fucked up about it, like, at all. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, on some shit, like, niggas, like, the internet will probably think, like, oh, yeah, this and the third, but, like, niggas ain't fools. Like, niggas ain't slow or dumb. Like, you know what I'm saying? Bro ain't gonna speak on shit, but I will. I do the reactions. Like, I, 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 yeah, I, I, I will. Like, you know what I'm saying? Bro happy right now. He got what he got going on with uh, with who he got going on in the videos and stuff like that, you know what I'm saying? So he definitely not gonna speak on it, but it's just like, bro, niggas, niggas already had this in the back of their head. Like you, this woman is liable to go back to her old situation in any given second. That's cool. That's overstood. You know what I'm saying? Every everything is well overstood. So yeah, man, like. And like, like she said, like, she ain't even all the way right in her head until she went back to bro. And I look at it like she's saying she good now. You know what I'm saying? She cut her hair. She had to, she, you know what I'm saying? She had to see the light again. You know what I'm saying? Her vision got to get clear. And she had to do what it take for it to happen. That's why she comes with doing these videos and getting back on her shit now. You know what I'm saying? I ain't say she was a new girl. Fucking shit I did. I have me. not done nothing new in this world that nobody have done. Nothing new. Nothing new. The only difference is, is right here. It's on camera. It's a public relationship. It's a public life. I have millions of followers and y'all watching me. Y'all seeing. Oh, she's this, she's that. But guess what? Half of y'all commenting the same thing is the same girls that go to the same exact thing. And y'all allow it. Y'all go back and back and back and back and back forever many times. Y'all want to you said it is enough. Until you know your reason why you ain't going back or why you really done. You know what I mean? So I do really hate that a lot of women just, you know, judging me because of what's being put out on social media. Like I'm supposed to be perfect. I'm far from perfect. Never even try to paint a perfect picture for y'all. So I'm not going to do it now. And this is really like just the most rawness I can give you. But guess what? Before I got on this camera, I had to get myself together. Before I even thought about doing a video, what video am I going to do? How are we going to do this? Make sure I'm good first. Make sure I'm good. And my team, they had given me all the space that I needed. They don't pressure me beyond nothing. They drain with this shit too. They drain with this shit too. And I do own them in a public apology to my team. That's Floyd, that's Cat, that's everything. These are the main three people. I own them my apology because I did lie to them. I did help things from them. I didn't communicate what I was supposed to communicate. I was sneaky about a lot of stuff. Because I I had to figure myself out. I didn't I didn't want nobody to know. I didn't want nobody to feel disappointed. I didn't want nobody I didn't want to feel embarrassed. To tell this to somebody's face, like, hey, yeah, you know, I folded. I went back. Like, I didn't even have the face to do it, to face it. So that's why I was dealing with it the way that I could. But eventually, the way that I was dealing with it, it made me realize, this is not for you, baby. This man don't love you. This man don't love you. This man don't care about you. It's going to always be the same thing. It's the same thing is. We got to go live every time we got to say something. We got to make a video when something happens. We got to post our location where we just made it to a destination. He don't care for your mental health the way uh, your partner should. He don't help you the way that you need help. Don't support you the way you need support. So it's like the thing, the time that I have done it is it's out of frustration. It's a partner, your husband, want to own her. And now I'm still hurt. I am healing. I have a lot of anger inside of me. I have a lot of shit that I don't speak about. But guess what? I feel stronger than ever. Any anything else that she said in this video that I, I need to give a reaction to?
Bebo NJ, appreciate us up. I feel like can nobody break me Anything now. Like, else? You done say what you had to say already publicly. You already done, you know, like, said the most unbelievable shit. I had never thought that that shit would have been out there like that. You know what I mean? So from that, that's where all my strength came. And now it's like, you know what? That case is closed. It's closed. It's just me and my kids. Like, it's been for months. Just being there, it didn't change nothing, guys. I didn't go home and left my space to be back. I didn't do that. I just went there to get my answers. The answers that Carmen needed. It. I needed to be back in those shoes to know what it feels like. And those shoes made me stronger. Made me stronger now to where I believe that I can make anything happen for myself. And I'm going to make it happen for myself. I don't need no man. And can should. nobody That's tell me should, that man. I'm this worst, bad, and this That's dark ass face that went through the same shit and don't know. Just for me, it's all about Carmen. We back to all about Carmen. All right, man, that's good, man. Hell yeah, DJ Mister Twenty Six. Appreciate the sub. Appreciate the gift. Hey, I just had to watch this video, man. Y'all wanted me to watch the full video. I seen it in the comments on my last recent reaction, so that what I did. <laughs> um, <laughs> crazy situation. Uh, she got raw and uncut on this motherfucker. Said a lot, and yeah, man. Um. I hope and pray, you know what I'm saying, she focus on herself and it's okay to feel how you feel, it's okay to still be healing. And yeah, just go up, man. Like 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 just go up like and it's just, this is the same shit I've been saying in all the reactions. Like all year. Like when it comes to reacting about this situation, the common core thing, like this why I'm like not saying much right now because I've been reacting on this topic for a long time now. You know what I'm saying? Just go up. Go up. You got the fans. You got the talent. You got your brand. Bro, go up. You got the team. Go up. Time to focus up. Time to get back to cranking them. Come on, man. Even if you need to come over here and we gotta get on the stream, man. We can crank them. If you need some motivation, bro, you know where to find that shit. It's time to crank them, though. Like, that's it. That's that's all, bro. Like, you know what I mean? Like, that's it. Crank their ass. That's all I really got to say. Um... Everyone really is definitely ready to move on from all the negative shit about this shit, bro. I'm not going to hold you. So it's time to crank them. That part.